Hi everybody, my name is James and I am glad to welcome you to my channel. Today I will show you two ways to divide a new SSD into Drive C and Drive D, Windows 10 will be installed on Drive C, and Drive D will be used as data storage, my SSD is 1TB in size. Method number 1. If you want to install the new Windows 10, then you can split your main drive into partitions C and D during the installation process, and in order to not make this video too long, I will only show short snippets of this process. The entire installation and partitioning of the disk is shown step by step in my other video tutorial, the link is in the description of this video. First, you need to create a bootable USB flash drive for Windows 10, to do this, open the Microsoft website on the Windows 10 download page, and download the application for creating a bootable USB flash drive. After completing the creation of a bootable USB flash drive, you need to turn off the computer, remove the old drive and connect the new SSD to the computer. Then turn on the computer, Boot the computer from this flash drive and start installing the new Windows. At the stage when the window for selecting a disk for installing Windows opens, we will see a disk with unallocated space, this is my new SSD. If you click, next, then the installation will start immediately and after it is completed, Windows 10 will take up all the space on the SSD, but I want to split this drive into two independent drives right now, and for this I need to do the following. I click, New, and a small window opens on the left in which we can select the size of the first disk for installing Windows. For the first disk, I indicate the size of 100,000 megabytes, that is, 100 gigabytes, and click, Apply. For Windows to work correctly in the system, you need to create several small partitions with system files, click, OK. The system partitions have been created and now you can start installing Windows 10 on disk 0 of partition 3, here it is highlighted in blue, but before starting the installation of Windows 10, I will create Drive D instead of unallocated disk space, and this will be the first method of creating Drive D. I click on the remaining unallocated space, then click, New, and just like with a disk for Windows, in a small window we can allocate a certain number of gigabytes for disk D. I will allocate all the remaining space for drive D, but you can allocate less and create one or more independent disks here. I click, Apply, and disk D is created. To continue installing Windows 10, you need to click on the disk we made, and click, Next. The Windows 10 installation has started and you don't need to do anything for a while, your computer will automatically restart several times. Please do not turn off your computer. Windows 10 installation has completed successfully, let's open the Explorer folder, and then open this PC. In this window we do not see Drive D, we see only Drive C, and to open the second drive we need to assign a letter to this drive. To do this, right-click on the Start button, and select, Disk Management. In the window that opens, we see my SSD, here is Drive C, two small system partitions and on the right a disk for storing data. I right-click on this drive and select, Change Drive Letter and Drive Path. Here, click, Add, and on the right you can select and assign any letter to the disk, I choose the letter, D, OK. To complete the operation, you must format the disk. I press, Start, OK. Formatting is complete, OK. And now we see a completely new and clean drive D, now it is ready to store my files. I open this PC, and in addition to drive C, we now see drive D. This was the first method of creating a D drive. Method number two. 
During the installation of Windows 10 on the new SSD, a disk selection window opened, here we will not create partitions for Windows 10 and for Drive D, we can immediately click, Next, and the Windows 10 installation process will begin. After completing the installation of Windows 10, I open Explorer, and open, this PC. Here we see one C drive, and its size corresponds to the entire size of the SSD. To create Disk D, you need to open Disk Management. To do this, right-click on the Start button, and select, Disk Management. In the window that opens, we see my SSD, here is the C drive and two small system partitions created by the system to support Windows. Now we need to shrink drive C to such a size that Windows can work without problems, and give the rest of the space to drive D. To do this, right-click on drive C, and select, Shrink Volume. A new window has opened, and in the first line we see the total amount of free disk space. The second line indicates to what extent you can shrink the C drive so that Windows continues to work without problems. In the third line you can indicate how much space you want to allocate for drive D, I indicate 850,000 megabytes, that is, 850 gigabytes, and in the fourth line we see how much space is left for drive C. There will be 100 gigabytes left for drive C, and I think that this will be quite enough for comfortable operation of Windows 10. I click, shrink. Drive C has shrunk to 100 gigabytes, and to the right of it a disk with unallocated space has formed. Now to create Drive D, you need to right-click on this drive, and select, New Simple Volume. Click, Next. Here you can select all the space specified in this window, or only part of it, and then create one or more disks I allocate all the remaining space for Drive D, Next. In this window you can select any letter for the drive, I choose the letter D, Next. To complete the process, the disk must be formatted, here we can choose different formatting methods, but I leave all the settings unchanged and click, Next. If you need to change something, click back, if you agree, click, Finish. The disk is formatted, the process of creating disk D is completed, and in the disk management window we see a new volume D. I close this window, and immediately open Explorer, then open, this PC. And so, method number 2 helped to shrink drive C, and create drive D in the rest of the space. I hope that if you repeat all the steps from my video, step by step, you too will achieve exactly the same result. Thank you very much for watching my video, and welcome to my YouTube channel.